Get down here! Look at this! She's torching it! <laughs> Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're going on another food adventure, this time in Saigon, Vietnam. I am with my man Lau, who last time, he brought me out for some delicious cow intestines and spleen. Remember that? And as much as I enjoy that spleen and intestine, I asked him, Lau, today can you please take me out for some Saigonese street snacks? And that's why right now we are headed to Ho Kong Rua. Wait, uh, is it, there's an English name, right? Ah, that's a Turtle Lake. Ah, uh, Turtle Lake. Saigon is a city of street food. You can't walk down a street or alleyway without stumbling upon some kind of food stall. Turtle Lake is no exception, with scattered mobile cookeries all delivering quick, tasty treats at a low cost and a high level of yumminess. Today we're doing another test to see if the camera guy can walk backwards without falling in the water. <laughs> so far, successful. Tell me about this lake. And this is actually a very popular hanging out spot for the local residents. Yeah. As you can see now, many people are now gathering already. But it's gonna be more crowded later at night time. Basically, people who want to chill and have a snack. You can even see elderly people here as well. Really? Yeah. Let's go find one of those. Okay. We are on the search for our food. Oh, oh look he, at this yeah, guy. He's we found a guy. Something. Hi there, lady. How are you doing? You getting a snack? Do you like ban cheng nung? Yes, I like so much. Oh, is this one for me? Yeah, that is Okay, your... so we got the butter. butter we got a quail egg, and he's right. gonna blend it all together in there. Right. And then he's got his kind of filling for the inside pre-made. Oh, and yeah. there we go. We've got the spring onion. Right, spring onion. Shrimpy. Spring. A little bit of pork. Right, you got it. And that's it. This is a thicker rice paper compared to the normal one that we make spring roll in it lighter, but this one is really hard. Okay. Yeah, it's just for Grilling. And then in the end, he'll put on some chili sauce. There are a ton of these places on this pathway around Turtle Lake. And what you notice right away is that everything is movable. And what I heard is it's because these food stalls are actually illegal. <laughs> so they make it everything really easy like that for them to like move quickly. Whenever they were chased, they are chased by uh, like securities or yeah. police. Are we supporting criminals? No, not that serious because you know, oh. that's the way that people make their life. They okay. earn their living by this. And not yeah. only these people, but a lot of people in the city, you know, they do something like uh, street vendor stuff. How long can you sit like this? I can't feel my legs anymore. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. still hot. Right. Thank you. How many? Oh, 20,000. Okay. 10,000 each. That's like 50 cents. One, two, three. Make a bigger sound. Mmm. So crunchy. You wouldn't believe the amount of crunch. Here, listen. Hmm? You believe me now? <laughs> you believe me now? You think I lied about the crunch? Aside from being extremely crunchy, there's a nice blend of the richness from the margarine, the chili sauce in there. Really, look, they're all simple, basic, cheap ingredients, but when you put them all together and you grill them up, right. it's tasty as heck. You can taste a little bit of the pork. There's a little shrimpies in there. It gives you, uh, it, it whisks you away to an oceanside island. That's a nice thing too about it also. It's yummy, it's simple, it's cheap, and what we're gonna do next is find some more yummy snacks. This next one is really good if you like uh, protein. Yeah. So what we're looking for now is ban chung nung. The second one. Ban chung nung. Ban chung. Ban chung. Ban chung. Ban chung. Raising tong. Okay, thanks, bye. Get down here. Okay. Holy oh, crap. Really Here's our next one. Wow. She's gonna put in Again. a little bit of butter into each single wedge. That's six pieces of butter. Those quail eggs. One, right. two, three. It looks so good. It looks pretty good. Yeah. And then on top of that, oh. she put in a similar mixture to what was in the bunching note. Right. So, shrimpies, pork, pork, and spring onion. Yep. We're gonna wait for this guy to cook up. Mm, this oh. is the most interesting part. Yeah. Right. Look at this. She's torching it. <laughs> this is my favorite part because uh, it's just a, a badass blowtorch. It's taking the food to the next level. Do you ever cook with a blowtorch? I have not tried it. Oh, it's great. You can use it for toast, um, oh. fruit. I want to know where to get one of these specialized wedge pans. Oh, that looks yummy. It's something that we don't have a lot in the West, which is uh, quail egg. I don't see a lot of people eating quail egg. But now she just dumped a bunch of chili sauce on it and some white mayonnaise sauce. Mayonnaise. She is smothering this thing in right. sauce. We have the ban chung nung, 
which basically means grilled egg. Cake. Grilled egg cake, all right. Put my stick in there. Oh. Right. Well, maybe you can pick one, leaf uh. of uh, Vietnamese coriander. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, you want to do a cheers? Right. Yeah, I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't cheer, I don't hit the food together. Mo, hi, ba. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if you got a ban cheng nung, and, but you said no rice paper, please. I'm going low carb, just the egg and mm -hmm. the other fillings. It seems to me that you refer this one mm. much better to the first one. The it is good. Rice paper, right? Actually, each one will get better today. Obviously, very eggy. That's the main thing in there. But you can taste the, the pork and a little bit of the seafood taste coming through, and especially the coriander makes it really fresh in the end. I'm a big fan. You're going low carb this summer, getting ready for the uh, beach season, <laughs> then try that one. Next food. I'm eating this one. is it? The hunt continues for the best street snacks in all of Saigon. I see it yeah. here. Oh, it's on it? the sign. Oh, yeah. She do it. Oh, oh. Right. Is this called chili rice paper? Yeah, the color from chili, but it's not that spicy. She put in some of the coriander. Coriander, garlic, and onion, and strings as well. And she's gonna roll this up like a little burrito. Do you know what burritos are? I don't know. What's that? You don't know what burritos are? Is it Mexican fruit? Yeah. It's, oh, that's good. Yeah, it's Mexican yeah, yeah, fruit. Yeah. So here, here she is. Oh, keep it here. Okay. You can <laughs> Intense, <laughs> intense focus. I didn't mean to interrupt her. Cut it in two pieces. And it's amazing. She has tons of ingredients yes, here. Yes. So Everything now. is just in little jars. The topping is time for the topping. Tamarind sauce, chili sauce, and mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. You like it. My rap name is actually Mr. Mayonnaise. Really? No. <laughs> no, I made that up. This is papaya? No, mango. Man <coughs> shredded. Let's, let's do it again so I don't look dumb. Uh, this is mango? Yeah. Oh, cool. Shredded mango. Shredded mango. And that's some dried fish? No, squid. Red one is the beef jerky. And a bit of and pork floss? Pork, right. Quail eggs. So all these little places here, a lot of them are using similar ingredients and just kind of making different things. Mm -hmm. It's like how Taco Bell only really has 14 ingredients, that, but they mix and match them in different ways. It's like that. Do you know Taco Bell? I gotta introduce you to some Mexican food, my friend. Yeah, I have no idea about like foreign food. And we've got some peanuts. Uh, peanuts as well. And then that's it? Yeah. My favorite food and the last food for today, this is the ban cheng kum. Ban cheng kum. You can see this has a ton of stuff in it. A this alone has like 12 different ingredients in it. Let's give it a try. Uh, do you have a good strategy? You just go in? So I'm gonna take the, a, a little roll of uh, bánh tráng cung first. Okay. Oh, it looks so good, I can't wait. I can't wait, let's go for it. Okay. Mmm! Yo, that is so good. Such an awesome mix of flavors and textures, really. The best part of this dish is it is a ton of different great textures together. And the best is that this roll is rolled so tightly and it's a little bit thin. It has a nice chewy texture to it, but inside as you're chewing it, you can feel the uh, fried onion coming through, mm -hmm. which is nice and savory. Then you have some sweet elements there with the mango and with the chili sauce. And then together, all together, guess what? It's yummy. Would you say this is yummy? Long. Long wa. <laughs> Long wa, good. <laughs> Thank you. I like the combination of on the plate all together as well. Savory, sweet, mm -hmm. sour. And as you work your way around the salad, you'll discover new flavors. The ones that are really pronounced to me is this dried squid. It's actually fairly powerful, a little bit fishy, but I still like it. I like a little bit of fishiness. Do you like a little bit of fishiness? I, did. I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some mango. We've got two roll-ups. Oh. And I especially like getting some peanut in there too. Look at that. That's a big one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The food review business is very competitive, and whoever has the best yummy face is who wins. I could never beat Mark Ween's yummy face. Oh. He has the best yummy face of all, but I could try. Thank you for showing me all these cool foods. And for you guys, if you are interested in this kind of insider Vietnamese foodie experience, let me tell you, you need to hit up one trip. They're putting on food tours in Hoi An, in Saigon. They're delicious. I've done the food tour myself. They take you all over Saigon. Links for that are in the description down below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next week. A piss. A piece. <laughs>